Hi everybody, in this video we're going to have a look at the latest ASUS Zen UI update for the which is KitKat for the ASUS Transformer Pad TF701. This is the version with um, Tegra 4 CPU. So as you can saw uh, there was the powered by Android uh, logo which is new to the latest devices like the HTC One M8 or Samsung Galaxy S5. And uh, after that we saw that um, powered by Nvidia Tegra. So here we are, uh, here we <laughs> are in the lock screen. So as you can see we have three little shortcuts there. The camera, the email and the browser. And uh, here we do have a quick access for the Google Now. Which can be accessed like this. Of course the tablet... Um, must be unlocked first. So um, this is the ASUS Zen UI launcher, which has um, much more flat icons. The status bar looks different. You can see the white icon from KitKat at the battery and at the, uh, all of the things. If we drop this down, we have a uh, much more lighter theme like in the rest of the system so uh, we can dismiss items like this as you know if we pull it from there we have the quick toggles calculator, quick memo, dictionary, boost and um, these are some toggles and um, these are some useful items this is the brightness and this is the switch between uh, power saver mode and outdoor mode like it was before and you have the auto brightness which also can be adjusted which is pretty nice okay so um, with this Zen UI uh, we have uh, even more things that um, we can do, we have the camera which um, I don't know what to put there I'll put my phone or something um, we have um, new options, for example we have selfie which uses the back camera and if it detects, if it detects a face can um, set the number of faces you want in the picture it automatically triggers the timer and uh, you will get much better resolution you have, we have miniature which um, is kind of blur effect that can be adjusted, moved big, made bigger, smaller circular, circular and as I told you we can also make videos like this with the miniature mode depth of field mm, let's give it a shot I think um, that there is actually no depth of field yeah. we have um, hmm? oh nice it looks it shows the weather Okay, so um, also we have um, we have the miniature mode here, as I told you. Let's switch to auto mode. We have some filters there, new filters. The these were the stock ones, and now we have edge effect, which is really nice. Hue, low mo, pixelize. Pencil, again a really nice one, and carton. So, um, these are some improvements to the camera. Okay, so um, let's get the phone out of there. All the applications are new, are made. For this tablet, for example, you can see this new theme there, light theme, and uh, 
unifies the status bar which, with this bar and with a much more simplistic look you can also access your Google Drive right from the file manager which is a really nice thing and uh, you have a music app which we didn't have before and uh, works really nice the sounds uh, really sound better than before the update for example let's um, play a song okay let's use this one Okay, so uh, it really is an improvement, even in terms of sound. You have cloud service there too, which is Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox or Asus Web Storage. Okay, we have a new interface in Weather. Let's go to Settings to show you that I am running KitKat ok so as you can see Android 4.4.2 KitKat which is very nice and uh, we have much more options there um, uh, a bug I found in this software is in the browser which is really annoying and made me use another browser for example, if I go into the Facebook uh, website and I'm gonna scroll down, I have to scroll a bit, so that's the bug can happen. It won't uh, let me scroll, as you can see, it goes here, and this happens in uh, other websites too. I don't know why, as you can see. It's pretty strange, but um, using another browser like Chrome or Opera will solve the problem. Okay, and um, a big advantage I find um, in this ROM is that you can play games in full screen mode without these soft key bars. Okay, so as you can see here. that really gives you a much better gaming experience and if you want to access this uh, soft keys to get out of the game for example you have to swipe up and now you can close the game and it works almost in every games I have tested some little exceptions it works in Asphalt 8 Beach Buggy Blitz Clash of Clans in almost everything um, we have um, we have uh, some removed apps from this ROM as well like uh, the reader which I didn't find really necessary uh, you can download you have playbooks or something some other applications that uh, can replace that with no problem and um, this is pretty much it the software is much better it has bug improvements but first of all new user interface better sound and overall a, a better user experience thank you very much guys for watching and see you next time